All right, this is Brad. <laughs> Coming out, take four. Hi, this is Brad. How you doing today? Well, we're off driving through the country south of Denver, uh, headed for a secret spot. My dear sweet cameraman says, it's very secret. As a matter of fact, he says, I'm not sure we can drive right to it, but I'll find it. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. We're going to have some fun and check out a secret spot south of Denver, up in the mountains. Cool. We'll talk to you later. Looking for a new green screen. Uh, we're taking, right now we're headed about straight west and uh, right into the base of the Rocky Mountains uh, around Denver, Colorado. And we are definitely headed up because the car keeps shifting down. And we're on about a six to eight percent grade. Uh, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful day. It is, oh my gosh, 59 degrees out there. Um, it's just a really cool environment. Uh, I love the Ponderosa, uh, Ponderosa pine trees. You have the openness of the uh, uh, ground, you know. It's just a really pretty place. Um, stick me in a rock pile in the Ponderosa trees, Ponderosa pines up in the mountains, I'm happy. Uh, I like the oceans and stuff, but boy, do I ever love my mountains. This is Brad. Take care. Have a good day. you know it wouldn't you know it you know what we came up here to have a good time we're gonna have a good time it's a beautiful day it is 57 degrees sunshine blue sky a few puffy white clouds but they went and closed the road on us so you know what now well, here goes another car because ah, that pipe doesn't look that big <laughs> no no Brad. i say instead of going to the to the mountains let's go down to the river all right if that's what you want to do checking out we just won't do the pipe thing let's go to the river <laughs> Right, dude got your life insurance paid up here we go <laughs> <laughs> gotta do it once in a while life's downhill <laughs> and that is downhill <laughs> Thank you. 
Time to work on a sword. This is Brad. We got us a sword here. It's about an inch by an eighth of an inch. Uh, secondary bevel down there, pretty thick. I'm gonna take uh, probably the long handle uh, sharpener and I'm gonna work on it and uh, see what I can do to it. We go down here by the river, South Platte, south of Denver, and uh, we'll see how it all turns out. Come along with us for the fun. This is Brad Sharpensbest.com. You take care. to attempt to do is I'm going to take my long handle sharpener. <laughs> yeah. That is all. <laughs> bad. <laughs> I don't really want to fall in here. That'd be bad. Alright. I want to take this sword here and uh, see if I can put enough of an edge on it and I left my paper up the car. So, we're going to have to attempt this then go up, maybe we uh, cut on the apple a little bit. But, so I got to get to rip and steel. And if it's, so it doesn't take too long to get this done. It's a new one. It won't be new when I get done with it. get hot, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> but I felt done.
sharpensbest.com I can make it sharper it's not too bad at all it's a lot better than it was we'll get some paper when we get back up to the car not around so much noise we'll slice some paper with it we'll put it on the website and sell it I might even just uh, make a special effort to sell that one as the one that sharpens the sword and yeah, it's a little chewed up on the plastic and everything. So we'll do that. And you can buy the one that sharpened the sword. This Brad Buckner, sharpensfest.com. Beautiful day. We're just out playing. You have a good day. See you later. It's really fun. Go to YouTube, and Sharpens Best, forward slash Sharpens Best, and watch our videos. Help us out a little bit. Buy some product. Go to uh, sharpensbest.com. Buy the big packs, the family packs, things like that. Christmas is coming. You can put them in your, uh, uh, you know, your hunting, hiking, camping, fishing stuff, your bug out bag. You can put them, uh, you know, in uh, the camper. Uh, the wife will snitch them for yard and garden tools. You know, you give them to your kids, your uh, grandson, your dad, your brother, you know, your mom. Uh, buy 20 sharpeners a year. Believe it or not, you will find a place for them. The people that get them will love you to death for them. They're not all that expensive, and they don't break wear out or come apart. They're a terrific tool, and they really do work. Now, is this sword that I just worked on as smooth as if I finished it off with a 6,000 grit stone? Absolutely not. That isn't the realm that I work in. I work in the realm of, of a working guy. A guy out there, he's got a sharpener in his pocket. He's going to take his machete, his knives and stuff. He's going to tune them up. He's going to keep them sharp. Um, I'm not even going to try to compete with the beauty on the cutting edge of a uh, two, four, six, eight hundred, a thousand grit stone, stuff like that. That isn't what I do. So they work really good. They don't break wear out, come apart. Go to sharpensbest.com. Check out the product. Just Brad. Take care. Have a good day. What you doing there, Brad? I'm clearing my runway. I'm going to set a watermelon up there in a little bit and I'm going to take this uh, sword that we just worked on and I'm going to take a swing at it and I'm going to whack the watermelon in two. So, let's see. See how that works. If you want to know what kind of paper it is exactly, go find Rooster, uh, music, <laughs> they've got it covered up. I don't have any idea what uh, what that's supposed to be. The people who buy it know what it is, all right? <laughs> if they hide most of the words, it's gonna be hard to figure out what the word is. Anyway, this is the one that I just sharpened on the rocks a little while ago. 
and let's see that's really not too bad I'm gonna work on the uh, cutting edge just a little bit more with my little round sharpener see if I can't finesse just a little bit better edge on it just like that sword's still a little thick I actually bought the watermelon I was going to take my little four inch grinder and really put an edge on it but let's do it this way then I'll probably when we get home use my four inch grinder put a better edge on it buy another watermelon and whack that one alright let's see actually all right let's take a watermelon here I found an old Copenhagen can maybe that flat spot will help it stay up there set up there something like that all right let's see and him up Kind of an angle. Whack him right in two. We'll see if I can even hit where I want to. Oop! <laughs> Took the top off of him. Almost got him off of there without falling. This Brad goofing off having a fun. Dropped it right down, dropped it on the post. That's pretty clean. I'm gonna sharpen a little bit more to make it really clean. This Brad, sharpensbest.com. And boy, that is a juicy watermelon. Getting a little bit soft, but boy, is it good. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. You take care. Have a good day. Yeah, I like fishing. He's out there fly fishing. That's kind of what I'd like to be doing right about now. All right, up the road we go. We got some more stuff to do. Hi, it's Brad. How you doing today? Off uh, goofing around out in the uh, mountains in uh, Colorado here. And um, people ask us, you know, every now and then, what on earth would you ever do with a knife that small? Well, you know, um, I could maybe win a beer uh, at the bar if I said, I bet you a beer, my knife is smaller than your knife, see if anybody takes you up on it. Um, what could you do with a knife like that? Well, you could probably use it for cleaning your fingernails. And I use it actually a lot on uh, peeling oranges. So let's check and see what we got for Sharp. And this is new right out of the package. Okay, that's, that's really not too bad. I can kind of slice along there like that. They actually do a pretty good job of sharpening them. So let's uh, put just a little bit of sharp on it. See how it turns out here. 
right now. See, I don't that uh, serious radius going in there like that. I don't even notice that there's a radius on that blade because all I got to do is just go from the handle towards the point of the knife, just like that. Slide it right on out there. And we're going to turn the knife over here in a few seconds and do it again, just like that. Turn it up this way so you can see a little bit better. Okay, now I'll just pinch it, turn it over, put my finger under the blade, tilt it down like this, go right on out, right on around. You know what? I'll bet that would be a really good knife for uh, gutting a fish, actually. If you got the fish turned up, go in from the bottom and right on up, that might work. So let's see. We do this for a little while longer. Don't press too hard. Let it work. Don't make it work. Just like that. And turn it over. Do it again. And a little bit more on this side. A little bit more on that side. A little bit here. A little bit there. A little bit there, a little bit there. And that bites. All right, let's see. And it's still pretty sharp. They had it pretty sharp. I'm a little bit amazed uh, how sharp it was. It is sharper though. I can go further in one pass. It <laughs> All right. This is what I do mostly with my little one inch knife. Come up here about like that, stick it in the orange, and just go right on around. That way you don't have to worry about the depth of your cut very much. Just like that. Take your orange, run your finger in there like that. Oops. Like that. This orange is actually pretty soft. Yeah, where's my other cut? There it is. Yeah, it's going to come Juicy. apart. Oh, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, this orange is, is really ripe. This is juicy. But anyways, whew, sour though. That's what I do with it. Stick it in there and run it right around. Just cut the skin on the orange, peel it right off of there. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Take care and have a good day. You see one sign that says ice cream on it. Uh, what sign says ice cream on it? Like this one? 65 flavors. Are you kidding me? Let's go in and try 20 of them. Hello. Strawberry, cotton candy, butter, pecan, cheesecake, swirl. Like On this. the cake cone? Yeah. <laughs> the cake cone, butter, I should just do all nine of them. Cheesecake, you can. All right, I want one with eight different flavors in it. You pick them, and there is there only eight? Um, <laughs> yep, there's only eight, so uh, you want them all? Yeah, I want them all. Okay. <laughs> I want them all. I've never had uh, such a... Uh, a cone before, but we're gonna have it this time. Popped off here at a place uh, to get an ice cream cone. And they made it very difficult because you know what? I have to decide. First of all, I had to figure out how do you get three, four, five, six, seven different flavors in a twist ice cream cone, not just chocolate and vanilla, okay? So I asked for an eight flavor twist ice cream cone. And that young lady right there is making it for us right now. You have a contractor's license. <laughs> yes, all right. How much is it? Uh, Six twenty-two. All right. We'll take what you want out of there. What kind of flavors do you have? Well, I don't even know. We've we've got uh, chocolate, strawberry, cotton candy, butter pecan, cheesecake, black cherry, uh, pistachio, and English toffee. I thought there'd be some variety to it, though. <laughs> Evidently not. to take four. We've had cars go by, honk, Corvette, Porsche, honking at each other, pull in the parking lot, rip out of here. Uh, and I gotta be serious. All right, this is Brad Sharpensbest.com. We got in some new little knives here and we are gonna call these uh, the world's smallest knives and try to mean it because <laughs> can't even get them out of there. Uh, oh, 
almost lost that one. All right, here's one right here. We get a hold of it like this, get a hold of it like that. Okay, the blade is, I would say, three eighths of an inch long. They're really pretty thick. They could have flattened them out just a little bit better. Um, and I'm going to work on this one just a little bit because that really isn't, that's nothing like the uh, little miniature knife, the little curved blade that we just had. But to hang on to it, I'm going to try it this way, but we also do have some uh, needle nose pliers. So maybe we just set it down and I'll work on it like this. And that is the hardest little object to work on I think I've ever worked on. But I do see a little, little dust on that black wrought iron table. So maybe it's either my fingernail or it's the knife, just like that. And we turn it over and do it again. Well, it's hard on the fingers. So let's try this just like that. And we'll see. I don't even know for sure. Just like that. And like this. And we'll do it again here. see it actually feels like it bites a little bit all right let's hold it here okay that's how big the blade is only three eighths of an inch approximately the, the whole knife is maybe three quarters of an inch long so let's see what we got here the wind is coming up so we're gonna have to hurry we don't want to make our fans upset uh, <laughs> I got it cut. This is Brad. This is uh, our world's smallest knife, sharpensbest.com. And uh, we're at Decker Corner, actually, um, southwest of Denver. Beautiful place up here in the mountains. Ice cream shop. Uh, there, there's quite a few things here. Liquor store. Uh, they got a restaurant in here. You can buy alcohol in here. This is where I just got my eight flavor twist ice cream cone uh, very nice young lady working here and um, so you can get these on uh, sharpensbest.com for uh, $4.99 plus shipping so this is Brad take care have a good day from Decker Corner Colorado see you later okay Brad's good enough put it in the bag for us oh great uh, one of them you, you had two I know oh. Well, the bag was over here okay, actually look. earlier. So. Ah! You see it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, really. <laughs> you didn't go through the crack. That is the world's smallest knife. Oh, that's great. What? You would be putting the coin next to it. Look at this. A penny is bigger than it. Oh, much bigger. We're gonna call this our rifle knife. It's got a little flashlight on it. Um, it's a spring uh, assist knife. It's got a clip on the other side for your pocket. Kind of a cool looking little knife. We'll pinch it here, hang on to it. Kind of built like a rifle, all right, like that. Come around on this side, you got your lock and your opener. The lock is the one that slides up and down here. And, nope, back here. So that slide that up like that. I'm gonna turn around here just a little bit. So if you wanna, if you wanna close it, okay, that's locked. If it's up, down, push the button, lock it back up, there. Now even if you push the button, it won't open up. Put it down like this. Oop. <laughs> that's where the blame ding me. It's actually got a <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, I shouldn't have eat that ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get it up in the air here. It's really got, it's really got quite a spring. It's a pretty cool knife in a lot of ways. So you can actually shut it like this. Okay, then you move your lock up 
So even if you happen to push the button, it won't unlock, all right, it won't open up. There's really a pretty good spring on it, and it's uh, actually, it's tight. It uh, doesn't just wobble inside the uh, hinge mechanism, okay? And we're gonna sell these on our website, and um, I believe this is probably gonna be about $17.95, something like that. It's got a really good little light on it here. You fold the light up like that, and you turn it, and whew, how do you like that? And I'll tell you what, I'll bet you at night that's a pretty good little light because she sure is bright uh, in the daytime. So we fold that back down and we'll close it up. We open it one more time like that. All right, let's check it on some paper and see what we got here. We seem to always find the wind. That's okay. We just work with it. Clean up the mess in here. And uh, let's see. Okay, that's really, that's not, not real good. So let's work on it a little bit turned here where I can go to work just like this match the bevel on the blade turn it about 30 degrees 40 45 whatever you can get out of it you know just like that come right on out to the tip it's a little bit of a thick grind on the blade but just like this right on out out that way Just don't press too hard because it will cut that blade. There's no question there. All right, let's see. If that's close. Well, it's sure sharper than it was. Actually, that's pretty close. Uh, if you really want a knife sharp, Spend about three, four, five minutes just brushing on it like I did. And um, don't push too hard on it, let it work, don't make it work. Unless you got a horribly dull blade, then you're gonna have to push on it a little bit, you know? Um, again, here some people say, well, I don't understand quite what you're doing. There's a flat face right there on each side of that face is a 90 degree corner. 90 degree corner right there, 90 degree corner right there. You touch that 90 degree corner to the blade like this, match the bevel 12, 14 degrees. Turn the knife a little bit and begin to brush the sharpener out or come back this way or out that way. I'm going to set it down and work on it like this. It's really actually kind of thick, so you'd have to flatten this. You'd have to flatten the bevel out a little bit on this knife to really make it a slicer. If you want to keep a little bit more of a work knife, then maybe you want to leave it the way it is. A uh, little bit thicker blade, tougher blade, not as sharp. So you work on it like this. If I just sat around for, I don't know, perhaps five, six minutes, with it tipped down more like a, a eight, 10 degree bevel, I would actually cut the side of that knife down. And it really wouldn't take very long to do it either. Just like that. So we're gonna quit here in a minute. Let's see if I made a noticeable change in the short time more that I worked on it. And I can see little teeny tiny uh, silvery dust. I can see it on the side of the knife. I can see it on the black on the table there. Uh, so I know I'm cutting the blade. Sometimes you actually have to reshape the blade. You just got to cut it down. And yeah, you might do it with a whetstone, but can you imagine having to completely reshape a blade with a whetstone? You'd be there for, I don't even know, two or three hours maybe. Uh, but that's sharper than it was already. Sharpensbest.com, rifle knife. It's got a flashlight on it. It's got a lock. It's got the open, it's a spring assist. All right, so let's pinch it right about <laughs> there. All right, fold it up. Lock it. And there it is, rifle knife. Sharpensbest.com, $17.95. It's got a clip, spring assist. It's a good little knife. This is Brad, you take care, have a good day. What? Well, we had a pretty good day. Uh, we ran into a roadblock. They had a pipe across. The road was uh, blocked off, probably still for uh, a few more months. Oh, yeah, I like that right in the eyes. Um, and uh, so then we went another way, went down around Decker Corner, went down, down, down on the uh, South Platte River. And that was really cool. Um, I liked it a lot. And it's videos down there. Uh, we seen no wildlife on this trip. That was uh, we seen a dead wildlife. Uh, the only thing we seen was a dead squirrel. 
uh, crossing the road and evidently got hit. But uh, just a fun day, um, warm, good weather, a little too much wind for filming, but we know how you guys enjoy the wind. It just keeps it real. Uh, you know, talked about some knives, sharpened a sword, whacked a watermelon, skinned a watermelon, or uh, orange. Um, you know, just seen some good country. Talked about the world's smallest knife uh, and the uh, world's smallest knife carried by Sharpen's Best, uh, the little karambit style knife. That was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, now it's 435. We're headed back into town. The road that we thought we were taking uh, wasn't, so we got to see a little bit different road. They kind of split and go like this and end up at a same point. So that was all right, too. Uh, we'll come back up here one of these days. We'll come back up in the summer and goof off up here. Who knows, maybe we'll bring a fishing pole, catch some fish, uh, fry them or bake them over an open fire right up here. You know, that'd be fun. Uh, the big difference up here in the summer is there's so much water you got mosquitoes. I don't deal well with mosquitoes. Um, I don't like mosquitoes. I, I'd ten times rather put up with rattlesnakes than mosquitoes. That's how much I don't like mosquitoes. So this is Brad, headed back to Denver, having a good time, had a good time. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. Head back to Denver. Uh, then head up to Wellington, Colorado to one of my dealers, drop off some product, and then on up to Cheyenne and park my butt for a little while. Eh, very little. I'll probably go up to my aunt and uncles in the mountains. <laughs> so anyway, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. You take care and have a good day. We sure did.